Welcome to our video on MATLAB's eigenvalue computations. Today we're tackling a perplexing issue that many engineers encounter when working with damped structures. Our viewer is trying to compute the eigenvalues of a damped system using MATLAB's EGS function, but they're facing convergence problems unless they increase the number of eigenvalues computed. Let's dive into the details of their question and explore potential explanations and solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the issue you're facing with MATLAB's EIGS function. You're trying to compute the eigenvalues of a damped structure using a generalized eigenvalue problem. You've set up your matrices A and B correctly, but you're encountering convergence issues with the EIGS function when the number of eigenvalues computed is small. Interestingly, you've noticed that increasing the number of eigenvalues computed allows more eigenvalues to converge. This suggests that the EIGS function may be struggling with closely spaced or degenerate eigenvalues. To address this issue, consider using a shift and invert strategy or increasing the number of Lanczos vectors. This can help improve convergence for closely spaced eigenvalues without drastically increasing K. In summary, while increasing K helps with convergence, exploring advanced techniques like shift and invert or adjusting the Lanczos parameters can provide a more efficient solution. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with MATLAB's EIGS not converging could be related to the RPAC routines it uses. These routines rely on iterative methods to find eigenvalues. And if the maximum iterations are reached without convergence, you'll see NANDs. An important factor is the dimension of the Krylov subspace, which can be adjusted using the subspace dimension option. The default is based on the number of eigenvalues requested, so increasing this dimension might help with convergence. To improve convergence, consider relaxing the tolerance level or increasing the subspace dimension while keeping the number of eigenvalues constant. This could lead to better results. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.